Today I'm going to share a little bit about uh, the time I spent with one of the boys' mobile teams in Andhra Pradesh. And um, it was uh, really a thrill for me to spend some time with these fellas. And, um, and I hope it's a real blessing to you all because we pray for mobile teams and we pray for vehicles and equipment and, uh, and most of all we pray for fruit. And I know many people over the years have given generously towards say, equipping these mobile teams. And so, I, and so this is the mobile team that I spent time with. And um, they're just a, a neat bunch of enthusiastic uh, brothers. And I um, thought I'd just introduce them to you. Um, this is William. Um, <laughs> he's a team leader. And I've met him a number of times in the past. As he's been involved with mobile teams for uh, several years now, I think four or five years. Um, Brother Shook is a driver, and he's also been involved with mobile teams for a few years, too. So these, both those guys are veteran mobile team members. Um, Brother Sam, he's in charge of the literature of the team. And then we've got uh, Evan. He's in charge of music. He's a wonderful singing guy, great voice. And so he's in charge of the music and the instruments and all that stuff. And then uh, Bonus, he's the audiovisual guy. So he's the one that handles all the audio equipment and video projector and all that fun stuff. And then Raju, he's a team me member, which means he's a jack of all trades. So he does a little bit of everything and whatever's needed, he's right there. And then the final team member is uh, Judo Jeep. <laughs> he's in charge of transportation. <laughs> um, but that's their vehicle. It's a relatively new Jeep. That's definitely a, a workhorse out there in, in Andhra Pradesh. This is 5 o'clock in the morning, somewhere in the middle of Andhra Pradesh. Um, th these guys are up at 5 o'clock, seven days a week, every week of the year, except for whenever they get a holiday. They stay at this church. They usually will spend a week with the pastor and live in the church. And this is their bedroom. And uh, they're not all that enthusiastic about getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. In fact, some of them almost like like mummies in the morning. <laughs> so, but uh, and, and you notice uh, the nice cushiony mattress that they sleep on, and uh, so they're they're uh, blankets. They're about the only thing that protect them from the cold, hard concrete and the mosquitoes. But the first thing these guys do when they get up is pray, and I was just so challenged, I guess, and in about the amount of time they spend in prayer. Everything they do is bathed in prayer. Now this is their bathroom, and this is where they get their water, take baths, and everything else in the morning. So it's not exactly five-star accommodations, but at least they've got nice, clean Jesus well water to, to drink and brush their teeth and bathe with, so that's a real blessing. And then it's back to prayer again. And then Shook, he's a, he's a really top-notch dude with his uh, Jeep. He really likes to keep this thing running good, and, and he's always checking the oil and making sure the battery's in good shape and the thing's clean. And, and then about 9 o'clock is when they hit the road. Uh, this is uh, their first open-air meeting of the day. They're getting set up, trying to get uh, their cranky generator to going in the morning. It wasn't uh, too key on getting up itself. And uh, they had to really coax it to get it going that morning. This particular open air meeting wasn't the best one. You know, people just weren't all that interested, and a few people took tracks, and it was just kind of a dud, really, as far as open air meetings go. And you can see how enthusiastic a lot of these guys are. Uh, the, the second open air meeting went a whole lot better. It was just kind of like night and day, and so they, they kind of came alive with the crowds here, too, you know. And they, they do skits and sing songs and, you know, do magic shows and, uh, you know, you know, they're a crazy bunch of guys, you know, what can you say? Um, but, um, but everything they do has got some kind of gospel message. All their tricks and magic shows and songs all contain elements of the gospel message in it somehow or other. And, and it's also very entertaining to the people there. In this particular case, the crowd just kept growing and growing and growing. Uh, pretty soon, the whole street was just filled with people. And um, There's a, a skit that they do that's kind of funny. Um, it's, it's about the trap of sin. 
and they've got this chair that's got a sign on it that says, don't touch. And so this guy comes walking by, and he sees the sign, and of course he can't resist the temptation, and so he touches it, and then he's stuck. And then all kinds of people come to show him how he can be free, you know, from this sin. So he's basically trapped by sin. And then this uh, witch doctor guy comes by and, you know, does his pujas, and, but that doesn't get him, nothing frees him from the chair or the trap of sin until one of the missionaries comes by and shares the gospel with him and prays with him. And then he's finally able to get free of that chair. And then after the open air, they just spread throughout the crowd, handing out tracts, and quite a few people were taking them and reading them, and, and there was a whole lot more interest among uh, the, the group there, and then they packed up and headed off uh, to location number three. <laughs> and it was just the typical village, you know, you're setting up, a big herd of goats comes walking right through while you're trying to set up everything, and... And uh, the goats didn't stick around for the meeting. It was really cool as, as they were singing and stuff. Uh, there's a school nearby, and so the, the kids could hear the missionaries, you know, singing their songs and stuff. And they must have begged their teachers because then the teachers finally let the school out. And so all of a sudden, there's just this stampede of kids just literally running, you know, to come and sit down and see the, the meeting. And so. They, they were just really wrapped with attention and just enjoying, you know, the skits and the songs. And, and of course, the brothers were just uh, really playing to the crowd there. And um, so any, anyway, the kids, kids really had a great time. And uh, uh, millions of kids got tracks. And, you know, of course, you know, as adults, you kind of stand back and let the kids have the fun. But then after all the crowds moved, then they were asking questions and they had a lot of opportunities to really, you know, have some quality time to share with guys after that uh, meeting. And then it's on the road again, and this is not quite I-35 here. Um, uh, you know, traffic in India can be interesting. You've got to dodge water buffalo and uh, bicycles and auto rickshaws and people. And then what they did is they went to the village where they were going to do the, a film showing later on in the evening.